feeling discouraged to learn as I don't yet know anyone who speaks this language. It's so much better to learn from someone who is foreign rather than native to Norway because it proves it, it's possible to learn it. This motivates me so much. I really can't wait to continue learning soon. So she is one of my subscribers and she is asking, how did I learn Norwegian? So in this video, I will share to you the things that I have done in order to learn Norwegian like a pro. <laughs> To my youtube channel i am donita your pinay teacher in norway and today's video i will answer one of my subscribers question uh, she asked me how did you learn norwegian new subscriber so she is a new subscriber i've been feeling discouraged to learn as i don't yet know anyone who speaks this language it's so much better to learn from someone who is foreign rather than native to norway because it proves it it's possible to learn it. This motivates me so much. I really can't wait to continue learning soon. So she is one of my subscribers and she is asking, how did I learn Norwegian? So in this video, I will share to you the things that I have done in order to learn Norwegian like a pro. <laughs> um, and uh, before we start, I would like to say thank you for tuning in and if you are new here again I am Donita a Pinay teacher in Norway or I am a Filipina teacher in Norway so I came from the Philippines and now I am doing vlogs about my life experiences here in Norway all my journeys and from starting today I will do a shout out with every subscribers that are commenting with my vlogs and also I do accept suggestions and other content that you want me to create so now let's start uh, the first thing that I have done uh, when I came here in Norway, I came here uh, last uh, 2015. So first, I visited my boyfriend. My boyfriend that is now my husband. I visited him on the last week of March until uh, June. Uh, the last week of June. So because I've already visited here in Norway, the first thing that I do is I speak and listen to Norwegian anytime. I push myself to speak in Norwegian even though I commit mistakes. So that is a part of learning. Don't be afraid to commit mistakes. So now our medium of communication, me and my husband, is Norwegian. So we just speak Norwegian every day. So that is the first thing that you need to do. Embrace the Norwegian language if you want to learn it. And the number two is, of course, attend a school. For me, I don't want to mention any online course that uh, teach Norwegian or Norwegian language course online. Because for me, it is better to choose a physical meeting or a classroom settings when you will learn Norwegian and also you will experience to speak with your mind to communicate to interact with other learners that are learning Norwegian in a physical setting so for me it, it is more conducive to learning if you will learn Norwegian in a classroom setting but of course because of the pandemic there are a lots of online courses or online Norwegian courses that teaching Norwegian language but if you have a chance to choose between online and physical classroom settings or physical meeting I would rather choose a physical meeting so that is another one because you will have a chance to get books and that is the third thing that you must have invest with a book that can help you to learn Norwegian and of course if you are in the school they will give you some handouts materials that or references that you can use to learn Norwegian so I will show you my notes so this is the this is my personal note or I, I love doing scrapbooks so I've used to do these things so it's about substantive nouns 
I will show you how I created it. Uh, there's also one of my subscriber who are asking how did I create my uh, what handouts or the things that I used to learn in Norwegian. So, so these are the things that I have done. First, when my teacher gave me some handouts, I take it and then I used to compile it in a one book that I can bring wherever. Uh, wherever I want <laughs> or when I need it so it has also the verbs it has uh, adjectives it has adverbs and pronomen or pronouns so it has all the necessary things about Norwegian grammar and also I have this exploring Norwegian grammar book by Christy McDonald and Marianne McDonald those uh, writers for me they are uh, they are the writers that I've used to see or the authors for example Harpo Berget Christy McDonald is also the one of the author of it so if you are learning Norwegian in advance, you need to you need to have this book Harpo Berget. So in advance or highest or we can say difficult level. And this one Norwegian grammar, it's more about Norwegian grammar. It is written in English and in Norwegian. So they explain everything in English. How is the Norwegian of grammar? So this one book if you want to learn about Norwegian grammar and also I used to do to of course learn Norwegian is incorporate Norwegian language in your daily life so I used to do it in my mobile phones in my social medias I use Norwegian I've already talked about these things, about my tips and strategies on how to learn Norwegian. If you want to watch those videos, yeah. I will just put the link there or down on the description box below. Yes, and uh, the last one is be creative and uh, have fun learning Norwegian. If you enjoyed watching movies, you can watch movies with subtitles in Norwegian. If you want to listen to music, uh, you can also try to listen to some Norwegian musics that uh, use uh, Norwegian language, of course. And if you want to listen to radio, news, TV programs, Netflix, they have a lot of uh, movies that you can watch with Norwegian subtitles. In that way, you are entertaining yourself while learning Norwegian language. And uh, the last thing I can share with you is how did I make my notes when it is in academic level. So if you are wondering, I've already passed the Beto and the academic level or the highest level of Norwegian language. So in my days on the university, uh, my one of my professors uh, taught me to make this kind of notes. So I can show you how it looks like. It has my goals. What are my goals in learning Norwegian? So you can create your own notebook to create uh, what are the goals that you want? What are the things that you should work on too? About words, about Norwegian expressions, about grammatic, about monthly. Of course, monthly is the way you speak, how you speak and pronounce Norwegian language. So that are the things that I've done. And the last thing that I can share with you is whatever school you are studying right now, what kind of online Norwegian course you have right now, it's still up to you because learning a Norwegian language or learning here in Norway is not like a spoon feeding in other countries that the professor or teachers will give everything to you. You must do it on your own. You must persevere. You must work on. You must have your own encouragement. You must do all your efforts independently and never stop believing because if others can do, why you cannot? If, you, if others can learn Norwegian language, of course, you can also learn it. That's all and I hope that you have learned something about my video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!